What's good, faithful? You know who it is. It's your boy, Jay in the Bay. 49ers got to fly down to good old SoCal to take on them good old L.A. Rams. Should be a good competitive game. The Rams are currently on a two-game winning streak while the Niners were on a three-game losing streak. But we're coming off of a bye week. We've got some guys coming back from injury. And I think this should be a competitive game between two division rivals. Now let's get into the game plan, Faithful. Let's go. Faithful, the last time the Rams played the Niners was back up in Levi Stadium about a month ago. And the 49ers won 24-16. What stood out to me was that the 49ers made Jared Goff uncomfortable in the pocket. And this attributed to him only completing 50% of his passes. He was only 19 of 38 from the field. He also threw two touchdowns and one interception. So clearly he was not his best self. And his performance was quite putrid. Bass. What also stood out to me was that the 49ers led in a time of possession. We had we held the ball for about 37 minutes to the Rams, 22 minutes. And this was key. It allowed the 49ers offense to keep converting on third downs. The Rams offense wasn't able to get into a groove. They weren't able to have extended long drives. And this attributed to the 49ers uh, success. As I mentioned before, the Rams are on a two game winning streak. Jared Goff has been playing pretty well the last few games. And the Rams offensive weapons, you know, Woods, uh, Cooper Cup and the two tight ends, Higby and uh, Everett. I'm not sure if Higby's going to play. I believe he's questionable. But let's be real. The Rams' offense is nothing to sneeze at. Uh, they do have weapons, and they are uh, a team that Sala, the 49ers defensive coordinator, will definitely have to plan for, and they're no slouch. Uh, they can score with the best of them. And also, of course, they got the defense. They got Aaron Donald and Jalen Ramsey. Um, they're also pretty good. We have to neutralize them exactly how we did last month. And here are keys to the game for a 49er victory. Faithful. Part of the reason Jared Goff didn't have a successful game is because he didn't have a consistent running game. Um, without the consistent running game, the 49ers knew that the Rams were going to pass and the secondary was expecting passes, you know, within three to five seconds of the ball being snapped. So that's definitely something that we'll have to do in order uh, to win this game. We're going to have to stop the run, which we've been doing consistently this year and force the Rams to only be able to throw the ball to move the ball down the field. I feel like if we make the Rams offense one dimensional, it'll definitely lead to a 49er victory. Our victory against the Rams one month ago included one key player, Jimmy G. Unfortunately, Jimmy G won't be playing in this game. Uh, Nick Mullins will be the starter, but if Nick Mullins has a similar performance to Jimmy G, I think we'll definitely come out on top in this game. And Keys to the victory, number one, you know it, Faithful. Can't turn the ball over. No fumbles, no interceptions, and that's one thing that we accomplished in the game a month ago against the Rams. We're also going to have to win the time of possession again, and that's something that we did uh, the last time we played the Rams, and I feel like we can do it again with the running game and the short passes. I expect Jordan Reed to have a big game. I don't think anyone on the Rams defense uh, can guard him. I don't think they're going to put Jalen Ramsey on Jordan Reed, especially when Debo should be back, Kendrick Bourne will be back, and even if they do put Ramsey on Jordan Reed, I think uh, Mullen will get the ball to the other uh, playmakers on the field. We're also going to have to run the ball, um, keep keep churning yards, keep uh, executing on third down so that we continue converting and getting first downs. And, and also, we have to uh, protect Mullins. Same way we protected Jimmy G. Jimmy G wasn't sacked in the game against the Rams. Uh, we have to do the same this week with Nick Mullins. Protect Nick Mullins, but also we have to get the ball out quick. Nick Mullins have to get the ball out less than three seconds and make sure we get the ball into our playmakers' hands. And also, on defense, we got to make uh, golf feel uncomfortable. Now, one thing was funny when I was looking up the stats in the last month's game against uh, Jared Goff and the Rams. We didn't sack uh, Goff at all, and he wasn't pressured that much. I believe we blitzed maybe about nine or ten times, and, you know, it wasn't – I, I mean, I guess it was successful, even though uh, we didn't get any sacks. But I think that's something that we're going to have to do this game. We're definitely going to have to try to uh, sack Jared Goff, make him feel uncomfortable in the pocket, and also make sure he hurries his throws. You know, if he completes only 50% of his passes uh, in this game on Sunday, I feel like the Niners could win. And I like the Niners in this game to win 24-20. Uh, to 20. And Faithful, let me know what you think. Uh, do you think the Niners can pull this game out? We will be without Jimmy G, but we're getting some weapons back. Um, you know, Debo should be back, uh, Mostert, possibly Coleman, and even possibly Sherman. 
Uh, so we're getting some weapons back. Uh, we're fresh off a of bye week. We're well rested. We're fresh. Shanahan and his staff have had, um, you know, about a week and a half to prepare for the Rams. So it should be an exciting game up in SoCal at SoFi Stadium. And Faithful, let me know what you think. Do you think we're going to win? If so, let a brother know in them comments. Uh, predict the score and the reason why you think we'll win. And or if you think we'll lose, put, put a reason in the comments as well. And once again, this has been another Jay in the Bay production. And I'll see y'all in the next one.